leave the driving to us, the ads for Greyhound used to say. While taking the bus is about as far as one can get from traveling via Mercedes-Benz S-Class, that tagline also is appropriate for the latest version of the grandiose Big Benz. For 2018, the S-Class sees a mid-cycle update that brings powertrain changes, interior and exterior design tweaks, and, most significantly, enhanced semi-autonomous driving functions. More cruising In the new 2018 S-Class, the cruise control automatically adjusts its speed for curves, intersections, changes in the speed limit, and toll plazas. Its knowledge of the terrain is based on GPS data, this goes a step beyond the functionality previously offered in the midsize E-Class. The net effect is that one can use cruise control, and its attendant steering assist function, much more often on secondary roads and not just on highways. This could be the biggest development in cruise control since adaptive cruise allowed drivers to use the feature in heavy traffic, provided that drivers get comfortable with it. It is a little harder to trust than simple adaptive cruise control. With the car in its default comfort driving mode, the cruise control will slow considerably for curves, more so than you might on your own, before quickly accelerating back to the set speed. In Sport or Sport Plus, however, it doesn't slow as much and carries more momentum to